Zona, it calls to me. Once again, I wander the zone, and today, I'll be taking the spy. This character has a nice little bonus in being able to use a reroll in the various underground locations. And the model itself has a really cool Dragnov on its back, but the starting equipment doesn't include that. But right here in the market, I just so happened, and I didn't fake it, honest, just so happens to have a Dragnov ready for me to buy. What are the chances that I can get to it before the market is reset during an emission? Well, hi, I'm Edscar, and today I'll be taking the spy into the Zona board game. I'll also be painting the model based on my travels. So let's get stuck in. I started my game right next to a borrower mutant, and I dealt with that pretty easily and quite quickly. And then I wandered over to the Flem Anomaly on the Misty Hill, which I also quite easily made my way through and recovered a valuable artifact, the shell, which protects from radiation. Similarly, painting my model got off to a great start. I've been favouring a technique recently that helps keep a dark and gritty look without resorting to a wash. By mixing whatever paint I'll be using in for a particular part of the model, in this case brown, for the trousers, with some black paint, I get to fill in all of the shadows first. And then, fairly widely highlighting over the top of that with the original paint without any mixed in black, it acts as a mid-tone. This gives the impression of a highlight almost immediately without using a lighter paint, and so you can get definition without going too bright. Although, if you want to, you can of course brighten this up with another layer of highlight. My game continued with even more excellent dice rolls. Clearly Zona was being kind. I managed to navigate a silver net, which gives two artifacts, and so I'm pretty much loaded with stuff already straight away. And whilst I do pass by the bunker to trade it all out, silly me, I totally forgot that I wanted that Dragnov. The model has it, I should have picked it up, and it would probably not be there later. But I had a little target fixation, and my freshly earned money burned a hole in my pocket to open up one of the secret locations. But while I didn't pick it up in the game, I'm going to paint the SVD on the model. And I painted the jacket first, but I forgot to record that. The sling I painted in a fairly dark grey, and then I used a liner pen to make buckle holes. And unfortunately they were not visible later on, but they are there. In a similar way to my non-metallic parts, I mixed my silver paint with a black for a dark underlayer, and then highlighted up with the unmixed silver to make a very reflective, shiny looking gun. And in the case of the metal, I did emphasize that with a little bit of a black ink wash to just double up on the darkest points, and to ensure that the sculpted detail on the model stood out. Now I mentioned that I got into a secret location pretty quickly, and I made the mistake of passing up an SVD on the way. Well, the very turn I exited the secret location, I got a rumour card that should have triggered an emission. Unlucky timing. But on the top left of the card, there isn't a symbol to advance the emission track. And actually with this card, I get to choose how far to advance it instead. And so, super handy for me, because I'm playing single player, I can choose zero which gives me an extra turn to go to the nearby bunker and just get the opportunity to get that SVD after all. Zona really is being kind. I should be suspicious. Getting ahead on the rest of the model, I painted a light brown base coat on anything else that would need that as a shadow. Back to the game, freshly rested and with an emission passing over as I was safely in the bunker, and with a shiny new SVD in hand, I'm in a pretty good position to go for another secret location. There's one that needs the sacrifice of a mutant trophy and an artifact. Well, once again, I pick up a pair of artifacts on the way. Somewhat annoyingly, I had to use my SVD on both the awareness and the fight phases of a feral dog pack, which spent it completely, but it did give me the trophy that I needed, so I guess it served its purpose along my travels. And so on to the second secret location I went, 
being kicked back out on my first attempt, but the second turn I made it to the control center and acquired my second mystical item. To wrap up most of the rest of painting the model, I covered all of the cloth and paper together, as I use a similar technique for both. With the light brown base coat, I mix in a white to cover it over a few layers, and I slowly build this up layer by layer with more and more white in the mix until I reach the kind of level that I want. The cloth on the rifle and the bandage on his arm, I just went to a dirty white as if these cloth pieces really need a clean. For the paper, I went much further, up to nearly a pure white in the highest points. And while that did take a long time, I can do some really quick techniques with something like the beard, with no paint mixing required at all, just a dark grey as a base coat and a gentle dry brush of a light grey for some highlights. And again, sneaking in a black ink wash just to bring out the sculpted detail. I am coming close to the end of my game, so let's push on to the center of the zone, except let's not be rash. Several times in this series, for anyone who's been following along, I have pushed on to the center of the zone directly from the second secret location, but today I will learn from that. I pass by a bunker first. I collect a whole bunch of scrap items and artifacts and mutant trophies and I go to a bunker to sell it all out. And in the bunker, I earned enough to heal everything, buy a whole bunch of equipments for different situations, not just weapons, but a balance of scanners and documents and medication and all the other things. And even after all of this, I have a handful of money tokens left over, so clearly I am a rich spy which actually seems quite fitting when you read up on historical spies. I am the best prepared I have ever been to go to the center, and Zona seems to still be on my side. I'm also very much wrapping up the model, I just have one or two last bits of detail to go. The skin, I've been painting Caucasian skin slightly differently, as I've been given a bruised purple paint recently. And using that as a shadow color instead of a neutral brown gives a much redder, kind of ruddy looking skin tone, kind of giving that indication of blood showing underneath the translucent material that human skin is. And whilst my skills with painting skin is still not improving, it is a different skin tone, and that is valid, so long as it is painted well, which mine aren't. And I also picked out the information on the papers, I went back and forth over painting some kind of blueprint pattern or text for a secret bulletin, but I ended up going for the obvious choice, a map, which is actually quite an important thing when you're wandering the zone. And the actual painting of it is fairly easy. I splotch on some green, uh, maybe some extra brown or some other colors, a line of blue, and then to finish it up, a big black grid. It is a very quick and very easy technique, and it looks pretty striking as well. And if you're thinking of trying your hand at some freehand, uh, this is actually one of the easiest options to get started with. And so, painting my model comes to an end, but I just have the last few turns of my game to play. Well, on the way to the sarcophagus, I was attacked and lost my armor, which is not a great omen but maybe without it I can move a little faster, be a bit more nimble. It's pretty much a good thing that I bought half the trader's stash, because I used the cigarettes for the Psy Boost, and the detector for scanning, and the vodka to protect from radiation. And just as I was worried that I would be stuck in this loop, using up all of my items and stacking up damage, I guess Zona really was being kind. I pass through the corridors of the NPP, under the reactor's damaged cooling pool. My decimeter suddenly cuts off. Or does it register a safe spot? I find a nugget of gold the size of a fist. Possibly a reference to the golden sphere in Roadside Picnic, perhaps, maybe. The spelling here calls it an archaefact, an impressive classification and worth an absolute fortune. And so I escape, with plenty of money in my pocket and a rock worth half a country. Truly, 
the spy's happy end, alive, safe, and rich. So let me know in the comments below what you think of my spy and the game that I've played. I've certainly managed to learn from my mistakes, or at least maybe I have. All I need to do now is learn how to paint better. For now, I'm Edgar, always will be, and thank you very much for watching.